Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Before we get into this fascinating rendition, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. October is our letter-writing campaign to our senators and congressmen putting this subject in front of them. Let me say this. I'm not the champion. I'm not the spokesman. I didn't start the movement. I'm not even a veteran. You don't have to be to be concerned that 22 of our best and brightest every day are taking their own lives. We back the blue over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, today, like most days, is a mixed bag. We have a little bit of business we need to take care of up front. Um, it's heartbreaking, honestly. I just watched Redneck Renegade's video on our sister in the blade, Haley. Uh, Haley went on to be with the Lord. Um, she was a sweetheart, a vet. Um, she passed a brain cancer. Cancer sucks. Um, Y'all know my feelings on cancer, living with someone who is a caretaker. So I know that everybody believes different things. I know we all talk in different things. Uh, some of you may not believe in prayer. Some do. Whatever your belief, send some vibes to Haley's family, please. She was a sweet, sweet spirit who left this world too soon. Uh, if you believe in prayer, do that. Vibes, whatever. I would appreciate it. Now, moving on. We haven't done a riding with scab in quite some time, so I thought I would do another one. I walked out of the house today, and on my front step, I don't know if you're going to see this very well, was this most piece of badassery. This is the proper chopper. Now, I've taken a lot of pics. They're going on Instagram. If you're, get out of the way. Huh, for the love of God, man. Help me, Jesus. All right. Go to my Instagram. It's Choir Boys Cutlery. Follow me there. I've got a ton of pics of the proper chopper. Now, listen. I don't even know what steel this is. I've got to look it up. I, I just ran screaming to the car. The neighbors at this point, they don't think anything of it. Mr. Zeke, Hooligan Zeke, on Instagram. Zeke Manacho, his mother named him Hezekiah. Contacted Vic Lynn. His mother named him Vic Lynn and said, hey, can we get Scab a proper chopper? And Mr. Vic, who runs uh, Work Tough Gear, owns it, said, absolutely. He reached out to me, and they sent me a proper chopper, and they sent me this little knife. I am going to show you this one. Everybody knows I'm a huge uh, Nomad fan, the Nomad Camp, the Nomad Field. This is the Nomad EDC. I am a big fan of this. Big fan. Uh, let me. This is a first production, ATS-34. I love this steel. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Everybody that's watched my, um, I believe it's the field knife I have. My field knife review knows how well this steel does. So we can go now. It's green. Let's go. Here we go. Yep. Lord, help me. I love the steel. Zeke, my brother, Mr. Vic, man, thank y'all so, so much. Now, some people will say, well, Scab, if they send it to you, how can you be unbiased? Well, because I'm Scab and I'm good at what I do. Point blank, period. That's it. I would not have accepted these knives had they said, hey, listen, we need a favorable. That's not who they are, man. Zeke is is like me. He's like D-Bad. He is a knife guy. He said, dude, no fluff, no bullshit. Beat it up. Zeke, I can promise you this, my dear brother. There will be no fluff. There will be no bullshit. It will get beat up. I cannot wait. Now, I want to talk about a couple things as we drive. We're in the Crown Vic. It's new, not new, but it's new to me, so it's new. We're rolling. We're doing the limit. I want to talk to y'all about this camping trip. When I hit 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to do a, a camping thing. Now, Megan's totally against it. Why? I do not know. She said alligators, moccasins. Well, I'm not going to sleep out there in the water, honey. I'm on, I'm on you know. And people say, scab, you say you don't sleep in a tent. I don't. I'm going to get like a hammock or an air mattress. It'll take me four or five trips to get the camp set up. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. And I may take somebody with me. Now, 
it, 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 someone, you know, at Megatron would go, but we got the idiot dogs. So I, we'll figure out, I don't know, but I want to do it. Why? Because I want to challenge myself. I figure we can do some lives from out there. We got to figure out the legalities of it. Um, I am not a camp guy, so this will not be a how-to. Uh, I'll probably have to heavily edit the videos from the profanity from trying to be a camping guy. But I think I need to challenge myself. I'm going to be 50 Tuesday. I know it's hard to believe with these dashing good looks and, and just, you know, but I'll be 50, and I feel 50. Now, that's a lot for Go! It says, can't we all just get along? Can't we just drive the speed limit? Drive the speed limit and we can get along. That's the stupidest ass. Yes, we can get along if you drive the damn speed limit. I've never... We're on backcountry roads. People are like, scab yeah, up here. It's busy. I know. That's why I don't live in the damn city. I live in Green Coast Springs, Florida. It's like right, it's right there in the armpit of the world. It, and we got people, they'll see me come and just pull out. I had to sell Diablo. I was getting pulled over every other week, seriously. And I, I respect the law and all that crap. Try not to break it. But I'm going to tell y'all something, son. I got tested over these past two months. Now, you're saying, Scab, what does this have to do with nothing? Nothing with knives. This is a riding with Scab. I put work tough gear in the thing. It's clickbait because I did. Now, I want to show y'all this, too. You get When you get work tough gear, you get quality. Okay? This is a carrying case. Mr. Vic did the Kydex on this himself. He piggybacked my EDC. This will be on the camping trip. And, and Megan said hobos. Ah, Lord God, man. I'm not tough or bad by any means, but if, if, and as scared of the dark as I am, if you walk in my camp, you got it to do, mainly because I'll probably run over you trying to get the hell out of it. I ain't worried about none of it. I want to challenge myself, but we got to get to 2,500 subscribers, and I want y'all to do me a favor, because I'm going to wrap this up, because I'm probably going to start cussing this person in front of me. Would y'all do me a favor? I'm on in the description, and then I'm going to pin a comment. It is a link to a short that Megatron did. It's got over 2,000 views. Now, I want y'all just to hit the like button on it. Do that for me. I want to kill the like button. I know many people don't like these videos. I get it. Nine times out of ten, that's why I make them. Because people don't like them. I, I want to ask, and I hate doing this. I hate doing this with all my heart. But guys, I want y'all to start pounding the like button on these videos. Share them on your Facebook page. Share them on Instagram. Listen, you don't... That's all you have to do. We are a community. We are a group. We are building community. It's not the Choir Boys Cutler community. We are knife guys and girls and axe guy and, and if it's got a blade, if you camp, if you kayak, if you breathe, you are a part of this community, okay? Do me a favor. Hit subscribe, hit like, and share my videos. Why? We want to get the word out about 22 a day. Again, I'm not trying to be the champion of 22 veterans a day. I'm not trying, I am a small, small cog in the wheel. My guy, Captain Electro, is on it. He is starting to look now. He's combing through different petitions and things like that. And we're going to try to find, he's going to try to find some things to not only write our senators, but maybe send in some petitions. I want, the bigger we grow, the more we can do. If you are an addict, listen to me. Never quit quitting. It's a fight I fight every day. I don't give a shit. You know, people have taken shots at me on it. And let me say this. I don't delete many comments. I really don't. If it's just vile and vulgar, I, you know, yeah, because I don't want that crap on my page. But a lot of times, because some of y'all are too stupid when you're insulting me to spell the words correctly, or you put things like douchebag or redneck or all of these things in there, hey, dumbass, listen, listen, listen. YouTube blocks you, not me, or blocks the comment, not me. To the guy that keeps doing the uh, dislike in North Carolina, keep going, buddy. I appreciate it. That helps the uh, algorithm. Thank you so much for doing that. To all the uh, guy liner guys in, in, in Europe, 
who get all worked up because I review Cold Steel products and Cold Steel named them. I didn't name them Vikings, guys. So I hate to break that to y'all. Go put your guy liner on, listen to some death metal, rock out, ride on, get gone. Okay? I got two more videos coming on Cold Steel Axe, Condor Axe, Hanway Axe that they, they have named with a Viking thing. Not me, not Old Scabber. By the way, my last name is a Norman name. You know, the Normans, the Vikings who come down into France and the king couldn't beat them, so he asked Rollo to settle there. Those Normans, that's my last name is a Norman name. So, there's two, I won't do a third one. You know who you are. Put the guy liner on, listen to some head banging death stuff. Talk, tell your old lady what you're going to do while you walk around in your tidy whities I don't know why the hell we got on this, but we're on it. We're going to move on. I'm a little hyper. I have my five-hour energy. Now, let's get to some knife stuff really quick. I bought this yesterday. It's just a diamond stone folder sharpener thingy. It's great for honing blades, okay? Uh, I've sent a lot of blades to DJ Horn. DJ is one, a class act, two, he is is a true OEM. He's made knives for major manufacturers. He knows his shit. He's going to help me. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm telling him now. He's going to help me learn to take knives apart. We've got to up our knowledge. Right now, where we're sitting, where we're sitting in this thing, I feel like we do a good job with the test. I feel like we do a good job giving a, you a look at the knife. I want to do a better job. I've been watching a lot of Neves Knives and Big Red and Lefty and Scott Big Boar Williams and all these guys, okay? All these guys, and I love it, Vance Knife Bro. But I watch all these guys, and their knowledge impresses me. Love Jared at Neves Knives. Good dude, man. I love them all. They're all really good guys, and you need to check them out. Now, we want to up, I want to up my knowledge. I've said I'm a novice at best so many times. I can't say it no more, so I won't. I want to learn. I want to be able to bring y'all a different level and a different aspect. We will always test knives. Why? Because I enjoy it. We are going, and when I say we, I mean me, we're going to beat the hell out of everything in Green Cove Springs with this bad motor scooter right here. I've got, it's got the 3D G10 machine stuff. I noticed I've got another set of handle scales. Now listen, this thing is badassery. You hear me? So tomorrow, starting, well, just chop the dashboard. Tomorrow, we're going to start working on our videos for it. Join me. Check out my Instagram. I've said all I can say. Praise the Lord that guy turned. I don't have to holler at him no more. And now I'm behind a truck. All right. Listen, my guy Mikey, whom I love, says it best. Oh, hold on. Shield arms. Shield arms. That guy has been supporting me over these last this last month, uh, whether it's here, Instagram. He's got a really good YouTube page. He's big on Instagram. Shield Arms, check him out. Wandering in the Wilderness, check him out. Florida Knives, check him out. Brothers in the Blade, Salty Red Corn. Uh, who's my other guy, the Arkansas fan? My Bad Adventures, check him out. Listen, Tina, living for Big E. Now, that's my sister. That's my sister. Check her out. And then Ron T and Redneck and everybody. I could do a video on that. I won't, but I could. I will probably will. Listen, I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he does. I'm going to work. Y'all pray for me. We got some big, big, big things coming. And the good Lord's let me see 50, or he's letting me peek at it. I'm so thankful for that. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. And listen to me, son. I'm gone.